All right. Here we have my Xbox One controller that I typically use for my PC gaming as well as my Xbox gaming. And in order for the computer to register your controller as part of the computer, it needs to be directly plugged in to the computer through a USB cord, which in this case is a micro USB. Give me a second and I will show you guys what the end of the USB cord looks like. This is what the back of the USB cord looks like when you plug it into the controller. And I will show you now what the controller end looks like. Which is... Right here. And once it's plugged into the computer, it will be a solid color like that. All right, here we are back in OBS so I can show you guys a little something. If you've been following my tutorial so far on how to register your controller for a game on your computer. In this example, as you've seen previously, I am using Wobbly Life as an example. So you can consider this my follow up to my tutorial video for that game. I hope you all enjoy. Now if you've got it all set up properly, I'll show you what you want to see once that's all done. Now, this is the alternative method to get into a game outside of picture or outside of big picture mode. 
first you gotta find it on your computer and as you can see I have quite a few games on here so that might take a minute The part that says Gamepad Configuration Loaded is exactly what you want to see. Because that means when we get into the game, it's going to make the controller work for us. We got thrown out of the house again. Now, see there in the corner where it says map with M? Once I push the left controller stick, it turns into the up arrow on the directional pad for the controller which is a sign that it has registered my controller is working. But for those who are curious what the keyboard controls are, and just in case you might need to use big picture mode to make it work, I'll go ahead and bring up the keyboard controls as well. Now here's what it is for the controller. And if I do it again, while I have my mouse here, it'll show us the keyboard controls. Isn't that cool? I thought that was really something neat that the devs added. And what I like best is it shows you both. Just in case you can't get the controller to work properly for you. You can use big picture mode and make sure you map the buttons. If you want to see how to use big picture mode, please refer to later in the video. Thank you. For this example, we're going to do the Jelly Man's job again. Since this is the companion piece to my controller tutorial for this game. Hello, Mr. Jelly Man. Yes, of course we will grab it for you. 
And as you'll see in comparison to the first video, the jelly man has had an upgrade to his house, which is pretty cool. Oops. Gotta look the right way. I'll read it out once again for jelly delivery, which is going to be our job for this particular video as well. Number one, we follow the marker. Number two, we pick up the jelly. Number three, we bring it back to the jelly man. And of course, the last part they don't show you is you accept your money. Let's go ahead and accept the job. We have about five minutes to bring it back. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to borrow the neighbor's truck. We are going to go get our jelly. And no, I cannot drive very well, but anyone who's seen me play games knows that by now. I never claim to be good at games, I just enjoy playing them. Whee! Whoops. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Our jelly is in the mall. All right. Good to know. I'm in a little bit of a hurry here, people. Okay, maybe it's not in the mall. News to me. Oops. Well, the Air Force says it's here. Or not. Okay. Change of plans. Do a little bit of off-roading here. Aha! So that's where this thing is. Save ourselves a bit of time. And... Open up the back. Grab our jelly. With both hands. Come on. Out the door. Come on, push the button. Thank you.
I don't think we're gonna make it. <laughs> we might know. Albeit barely. We'll try the jelly job again next time. This has been Alchemy, and I'll catch y'all next time.